Every Grand Theft Auto from 1 to 5 has done something to change up the formula in some way. Grand Theft Auto 3 put things into a 3D environment and had multiple different voice lines, which set the foundation to a real simulated world. Vice City took what GTA 3 had and expanded on it, adding businesses and a voice protagonist to relate to. They also brought GTA into a nostalgic 80s setting of Miami, making Vice City GTA's second period piece after London 1969. San Andreas was the titanic of the 3D games, stretching the PS2's hardware as far as it could go to achieve as much content as possible. To this day, it still has the longest Grand Theft Auto story ever. While all of these games were fantastic, they all had suffered extremely arcadey gameplay due to the limitations of the previous generation's hardware. So when the PS3 and the Xbox 360 came around, Rockstar wanted to change it up with GTA 4, bringing the formula into a realistic, gritty environment to once again achieve a new step to immersion, just like GTA 3 had done seven years prior. And finally, 5. 5 added multiple protagonists and an enormous open world to the HD universe, and while GTA 4 had an online mode, GTA 5 expanded on it greatly by adding a lot more game modes and updating it regularly. In GTA 5's first trailer, we saw a jewel store robbery, a man running from a police chopper, and a car burning in the street. And in other trailers too, we saw tons of mayhem, and that's what GTA 5 was advertised on, and exactly what it delivered. GTA 6 had a robbery in its trailer, but it appeared to be some sort of pawn shop. Nothing too action-packed or crazy, and it seems that the advertising for GTA GTA 6 revolved more around the chaos of the people more than the mayhem caused by the player. Which leads me to believe that this GTA will be very different. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how GTA 6 will change up the formula in terms of gameplay, and I'll be using things we actually know about GTA 6 to back my points. GTA 6 will be way more slow paced than any of the previous games. In the diner robbery leak we saw in 2022, we can observe Lucia zip tying an NPC's hands together and taking them hostage. There are multiple ways to interact with them, one of them being to threaten them, and the other options, well, not being filled in because the game's not done yet. I'd imagine there will be instructions though, like get on the floor or up against the wall, something along those lines. Another thing is in that same footage, we see a bar going down at the top of the screen that's a timer before the police are dispatched. And once the police arrive to the crime scene, instead of mindlessly charging in the building like they would in the previous games, we can observe them surrounding the Waffle House instead, cornering Jason and Lucia. Now some of you may be thinking that that's kind of a stretch that GTA 6 will be that strategic and thought out, but you'd be wrong. Because we've already seen this in Red Dead Redemption too. I remember before the game came out, some gameplay got leaked of law enforcement surrounding Arthur. Everybody was blown away because they didn't just run at him and shoot, they strategically surrounded him before opening fire. This absolutely blew my teenage mind, and if that's what's possible in 2018 with 2013 technology, I can't even imagine how Rockstar is going to raise the bar in 2025 with 2020 technology. Going back to the trailer comparison I was talking about earlier, in GTA 5's trailer we saw a high stakes jewelry store robbery, but in GTA 6's trailer we saw a pawn shop robbery, and the only robberies we know of so far in GTA 6 is a waffle house and a pawn shop, which is pretty small time comparing it to the robberies we saw in Grand Theft Auto 5. However, I don't think robberies like the waffle house will be mission specific robberies. I'd imagine in GTA 6 we'll be able to rob businesses with Lucia or Jason accompanying us in free roam. The mission specific robberies will probably be larger scale, but judging by the advertising of GTA 6, I believe that this game will be a lot less chaotic and more realistic, which I am all for. We saw in the trailer that there are a lot of cars and pedestrians, meaning we won't be able to race through the streets, passing by everything like the other games. In a setting like this, we'll have to slow down, take in the sights, and drive according to our environment. I think that GTA 6 will force us to slow down, and it'll make the action-packed moments even better because fast-paced gameplay won't be happening left and right. The gameplay in Red Dead Redemption 2 was majorly benefited because of its slower-paced gameplay, and I think experimenting with this in Grand Theft Auto is a fantastic idea, especially because if Rockstar makes a world that's more difficult to be an absolute madman in, it'll be much more rewarding getting away with a 5 or 6 star wanted level. 5 stars in GTA 5 is child's play compared to the 3D universe, and I can't wait to see how Rockstar expands on that concept. Part of me wonders if there won't even be a limit to stars this time around. 1 to 6 stars will be normal levels, where 1 star is a few cops are sent to find you, and 6 is the full blown military chasing after you, but I'd imagine after 6 stars, it's just more enemies that will be sent to chase you down. This could be fun to mess around with, especially when people will be posting videos competing to see how many stars they can get. So in conclusion, I believe that GTA 6 will bring the formula to a much slower pace where the gameplay will be more grounded and realistic, but I don't necessarily think that that will be a bad thing. 
Making the action-packed moments more intense by making the world more grounded will prove to make the experience much more rewarding, fun, and immersive. While it's unclear if we'll have to fill our car up on gas or get pulled over for running red lights, which honestly I'd be all for, but that's kind of a hot take, there will be a lot of things slowing the player down this time around, whether it's traffic, pedestrians, or decision making. Some of you guys may have noticed that this is not my usual length of video of 6 to 7 to 8 minutes, but that was because yesterday I was super sick and couldn't get out of bed, so I couldn't work on a video. But soon enough, I'll be back at it, uploading my normal length content again. I've been really liking the comments on my last few videos with you guys sharing your thoughts. So make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments and I will be sure to respond to them as soon as I can. So what do you guys think about the more strategic gameplay that we'll most likely see in GTA 6? Do you think it will benefit the enjoyment of the game? Or will it take out all the fun that GTA once had? Are you excited for them to take a less arcadey approach, distancing themselves from what 5 was? Or did you like the GTA 5 gameplay? And would you like to see it expanded on the modern hardware? Finally! Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and make sure to have a good one.